When most people think of hydrogen, they usually conjure up memories of their high school chemistry class or they think of the Hindenburg disaster. But hydrogen is a viable source of energy that's been used by NASA for the last 40 years. Now General Motors has harnessed that energy in their new Chevrolet Equinox fuel cell vehicle. The Chevrolet Equinox fuel cell vehicle is only available through the Project Driveway program. The program is designed to gather information on the customer experience through a data collector on board and from customer feedback. Project Driveway is the largest fleet of Equinox fuel cell vehicles deployed globally. Currently vehicles are only available in New York, California and Washington DC and are targeted toward five driver groups the media, public policy, celebrities and influentials like Jay Leno, mainstream Joe Public, and businesses like Disney and Virgin Atlantic. Cars are loaned for three to thirty months depending on the driver group and each driver is paired with a driver relationship manager that addresses any questions, concerns, or problems that arise. The Equinox fuel cell vehicle looks pretty similar to a gasoline powered Equinox, but the huge decals on the side and back remind you and everyone else that this is not a regular car. Other noticeable differences are the Equinox fuel cell's redesigned front end featuring an oversized grill and three large air ducts that keep the fuel cell stack cool. The Equinox fuel cell also features exclusive glacier gold paint and light blue seats. All Chevrolet Equinox fuel cell vehicles come equipped with OnStar and unlimited hands-free calling. Call Kelly Blue Book. OnStar can help drivers with any issues they may have or put them in direct contact with their driver relationship manager. The Equinox fuel cell also comes with a navigation system. The navigation system is equipped with a diagram in which you can watch how the hydrogen system is working. The first thing that happens when you turn the car on are several blue bars go across the driver's information system. Then it says starting please wait and then system warming power limited. Once the screen light comes on over here, then you're ready to drive. First, hydrogen travels from the fuel tanks to the fuel cell stack where it is exposed to oxygen in the air, causing an electrochemical reaction. The energy from this reaction travels to the Equinox's internal systems and electric motor to drive the wheels. The power management and distribution module, that thing that sits on top of the fuel cell stack with all the high voltage cables coming out of it, then converts the electrical output and sends it to the electric driver to power the Equinox. The Equinox fuel cell vehicle handles very much like a regular Equinox does. There are a couple of key differences though. One is when you start to accelerate from a stop, there's lots of low end torque, so you really take off fast. Another difference is when you're braking, you have a bit of resistance there because of the regenerative braking system. And so sometimes you really have to apply the pressure hard in order not to go over the line. The Chevy Equinox fuel cell is a zero emissions vehicle. What that means is that after the oxygen and hydrogen combine in an electrochemical process, the only thing that's left over is water. So we've made it here to the University of California, Irvine, and we're at the hydrogen refueling station. I'm joined by Lauren Humphreys, who's the Alternative Transportation Program Manager, who's going to help show us how to refuel this vehicle. So from here I'll grab the connection circuit to connect it to the vehicle. This communication cable allows the station to communicate with the vehicle while the fill is happening. So the station can monitor things like tank temperature and the amount of hydrogen that's inside the vehicle. This allows for a faster fill and a more efficient fill for the vehicle. I'm going to grab a 700 bar nozzle and just go ahead and attach it to the vehicle. I push it of one button and the fill is going to start automatically. Now I know what you're thinking. Is it safe to be driving around with tanks of flammable gas in your trunk? The answer is yes. GM has gone out of its way to make sure the Equinox fuel cell is safe. First of all, there are several hydrogen sensors throughout the vehicle to alert you of a leak. Secondly, the hydrogen tanks in the Equinox fuel cell vehicle have been rigorously tested. They've made it through government crash tests. They've been dropped from bridges. They've been shot at. And they still haven't ruptured. And if a leak or rupture does occur, the gas, which is lighter than air, travels up and away at nearly 45 miles per hour, making a car fire unlikely. So if you're passionate about the environment, or you just want to save at the fuel pump, you may want to look into the Project Driveway program. 
It's going to be around through 2011. General Motors plans on taking the information gathered from the Project Driveway program and incorporating it into future fuel cell vehicles. So you may be seeing this one or another General Motors fuel cell vehicle on the market in the future. Be sure to check out KBB.com for more video reviews and the latest automotive news.